Hello and welcome back to Ross Law Gaming and Football Manager 2019 here with Bath City Football Club and uh, well it's Christmas well very soon here at least in the game in the year 2024 and uh, we have had a really good first half of the season with a really really poor end of the first half of the season because we have been uh, leading the table by uh, or the league by so many points but uh, now we are not leading the league at all anymore and uh, yeah we hit a new low here 10 games without winning uh, which is uh, yeah horrid in all ways uh, but uh, well in just always uh, Coming up is a game that we really need and should win though, uh, which is against the l second lowest team in the league. And, uh, right, so we'll uh, pick the right things there. And <laughs> last time we got a talk like that, uh, we picked the wrong things and basically said that, uh, oh yes, of course you're right, we'll, we're going to play the play that we loan that is not good enough uh, to uh, be in the team. And speaking about that, we get an offer here from uh, Middlesbrough to uh, to take uh, a job there, uh, well, or at least a job interview. Obviously we are declining because we are playing Bad City to the top of Premier League and beyond is our uh, target and uh, what we're try going to try to do and uh, nothing is going to change that in uh, this series at least uh, and uh, well we are having quite a lot of uh, different series in uh, all sorts of things so uh, very likely that we'll not do any German series but maybe who knows maybe we will do a German series for football manager 2021 that is not uh, I guess super long uh, around the corner. I guess it will be released in November-ish as usual. And well, when this is uh, getting out, I guess it's uh, end of June or something like that. So as I said, not super long away. Uh, so we'll see what, what happens basically. And we'll get an injury on uh, Perry, unfortunately. And we have... Uh, we can see out still, of course, and we have Charles here with a small injury also. So, uh, a bit of uh, troublesome here. And yeah, Perry, are you really a key man though? Uh, I can't say that you are, uh, well, sort of key, but not really at all either. So, uh, Rawson here. Someone wants to loan him, that's uh, perfectly well, uh, but really, Rawson, who, who are you even? Oh, we picked you up for free. Um, I guess, Rawson, you are going actually to play here now instead of Perry. So let's remember there to put Rawson in for the match here. Uh, so we'll switch uh, the mentality there as suggested from our uh, assistant manager. And according to the bookmakers, we are very heavy underdogs here for the match against Leighton Orient, but I guess that's due to our poor form and, and nothing else. But uh, I'm not too sure. And uh, we'll send it to the club doctor there, out for one to two days with a flu, unfortunately the have so I think we will have quite a few injuries here to think about when we pick the team here against a late on Orient. Uh, so let's see here, Rawson to play mid right winger. Uh, is the key here. You're even not in in uh, in uh, the first team squad. That might be why we are having a hard time. There we go. Rawson, you are going to get promoted here. Uh, no, no squad. Move to senior squad. 
significance area. I don't know why you are there, but all right. Uh, let's uh, skip that and let's go to the right screen, which is tactics, of course. Uh, so Rawson, you're playing instead of Perry. And you're going to stay there, I guess. And we have Miller and... Uh, who do we really want to play there together? It, it's been a while, so... <laughs> sorry for not remembering, but we are usually playing... Who are we playing alongside Baxter? No. Miller and Baxter, that is the correct lineup. And then we have Johnson, Gustavo Aquino, Mitchell, looks all right. Rawson, of course, uh, gray here, middle right, the guy with left, we don't really have anything better, and uh, Gosling and Ponticelli. And there is uh, the players that we're usually having someone else, I guess. Uh, Pius, you are available now. Uh, so you will be playing. He's been uh, our key player, really, and he's been out for a long, long time. But he's finally back. And um, Poncelli is apparently wanted here from Shrewsbury and for screen for transfer. And uh, I can definitely, definitely see selling Poncelli, actually. And... Uh, Yeah, transfer offer to clubs. Right, so asking price, we don't need to ask that much. Um, ask 40. Yeah, that's basic 40. Right, offer to clubs. I know that might be a little bit hard or uh, destroying for, for the squad, but uh, hopefully not. All right, so I think that's everything. I don't really need or want to think about the tips that the coach or the assistant possibly have there, so we'll skip that just as usual and uh, go straight to the match. I should have looked at the tactics, of course, which I always forget uh, before we start in the match, but oh well, I didn't. And we'll comment the match just as we always do also here, uh, as best as possible. And uh, we'll see where we get to, so, so to say. And uh, yeah, it's very close here in the top. But yeah, we haven't won a match in 10 matches. So you can imagine that you had a big gap. Uh, I think it were at least 15 points or so which we have uh, all lost now but uh, hopefully we can do a good match here so we had do have the first highlight of uh, the match and uh, a little bit too early to say which uh, team it is for but it looks like it's for Leighton Orient and they are through and it's a goal here in the 20th minute mark and uh, well obviously a goal against us and uh, just not good enough and the poor marking and everything there I guess And yeah, I can all and Gustavo not playing good enough. So let's shout, show some passion. I should uh, shout the man more really because we are demanding more. And uh, next highlight here in the first minute, pass it with the ball and a horrible throw, basically straight into uh, Leighton Orient player. And uh, they are through one on one versus the keeper. And it's another goal here for Leighton Orient and uh, second goal for uh, Rachad Mars here. And uh, now they are leading 32 after 31 minutes. And uh, yeah, if things weren't looking good before, well, they are are definitely not looking better now. Uh, well, at least we're not getting relegated. We that's impossible to drop that far through the league, so to say. But uh, yeah, this is just horrid, horrid, horrid. And uh, we have another highlight here again for Leighton Orient. At least at that time, it wasn't a goal, goal, gold. 
and obviously it's not gold like yeah, in Stargate SG-1 or in the Star Stargate franchise. Uh, obviously I meant by like gold, not uh, anything else. Uh, so the highlight is still going on. Nothing has happened so far, but the, the ball to Basiti so far are again and Gosling, and it's a goal here in the 36th or 37th minute, and we have a reduced to 1 to 2 here. Finally, some sort of uh, good action, and uh, yeah, our, our fan club there are not looking that great if uh, looking on uh, that uh, shorthand side. Or behind the goal there uh, i guess that's our fan club uh, but uh, yeah getting in with a goal there at least is uh, good and uh, we'll shout uh, something more here in the second half so after one half the score line one to two shots six to four and shots on target three to three so looking Decent issue for looking on the stats, but uh, in terms of goals and everything like that, obviously not. And uh, we are going to say here to everyone at uh, 6.3 or lower that we're not happy with their performance so far. And uh, we'll just kick off here and we'll shout, show some passion directly here in the second half. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we're going with show some passion and then demand more again. And, uh, well, taking turns with that, really, so to say. Stats is looking better, better, uh, so to say, but we're still trailing, obviously. Uh, we'll shout demand more. Shots is now up to 10 to 4. And uh, we are passing the 60 minute mark. So we'll go in here and do some substitutions. Uh, Rawson a little bit tired, but doing a decent match. Uh, Pai is very frustrated, uh, which is understandable. But basically our defensive line doing a really bad uh, match. So we'll focus uh, substitutions there on uh, that uh, side. Uh, so we'll switch Johnson and Akinola out. Uh, we'll shout, push forward, and another highlight here in the seventh seventh minute, or the first really I think in the second half. A highlight for Bath City with a free kick that they were cleared though, but uh, Bath City is still in control of the ball, but losing it here, so a chance for a counter attack for a Leighton Orient I guess, but uh, uh, the long ball and they weren't good, so control uh, for Bath City here again. Gosling with the ball, passes to Pius towards the left hand side, but uh, Leighton Orient getting a hold of that, but doing a bad clearing and Bassity getting uh, to the ball and it's a goal for Bassity here in the 78 minutes. Uh, a long shot there from Miller straight into goal. So we're we have clawed back in this match finally here in the 78 minute and uh, being all equal. And I Good power shot there, really. And uh, we'll shout a demand more here. Uh, I think that's all right. And the stats obviously is saying that we are dominating the game of sorts, but uh, not getting through. Uh, we'll shout, show some passion here. And uh, highlight for the final whistle here, I guess. And uh, yeah, there we have it, the final whistle. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy, but I'm glad that we didn't lose this match in the end. But the uh, final scoreline, 2-2 two two for Basic versus Clayton Orient. Shots 14-6, to six, shots on target 5-3, to three, and position 55-45%. to 45%. So I guess it were our uh, defense that lost our, this match in, uh, in the first half, so to say. Other than that... I feel like the players did all right, all right-ish, but uh, definitely not better than that. So uh, we're, we're still really having a tough time, really having a tough time. Uh, still keeping us in third place, I believe. Uh, I think we were that before. Uh, still in uh, direct promotion place, but we're only one point clear of... Uh, uh, the play of zone so uh, 
uh, very likely to drop down into that area. And yeah, we rescue late draw definitely. Gosling ends the gold draw, so that is good. And uh, we'll draw some hot prospect and wanted. I can't even remember when we picked him up. Transfer, we gotta look on that. Uh, transfer history, Ro Rawson. So yeah, it's a late, late uh, transfer that we did. And all right, I guess we, we picked up Kelly and we thought, well, we'll send Rawson to the reserves which feels like the wrong thing to do here uh, half a year later, I would say, when he's injured. But uh, oh well, uh, we'll not think about that more. Uh, but anyway, if you're enjoying this, do make sure to smash that like button. It's uh, very, very much uh, appreciated. And... Uh, if you're doing that, of course, and if you want to follow along on our journey towards Premier League and beyond, uh, you should uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, of course, and uh, you can hit that small notification bell as well uh, if you want to be super duper sure of not missing out on anything. And... Uh, Let's see here. So Adelaide, you're obviously not going to play. And uh, let's see here. Uh, what is the, 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 the one to say here? Long term, I don't have a long term plan for you. Uh, all right, infinitial. Right, we'll, uh, we'll just tell him to do his job. And uh, I don't think he really bought that, but uh, that's fine. We can lose him as well, so to say. All right, so we have a problem with O'Connor now. All right, and he's fine with us just talking with him, so that's good at least. Also, was sort of good here when playing this. Uh, been a while, but versus playing FIFA Manager, that I don't have to talk with the players all the time, like you do in FIFA Manager, or tell them something which uh, can be frustrating from time to time. But uh, let's uh, focus here on the training for uh, last week. So the first team, Average at 8.05, which is pretty good. Uh, under 23s at 8.14, definitely also pretty good. And under 18s at 8.93, which is obviously good. And uh, cost me a very good report from the under 18s uh, for some reason. Uh, which is strange. What's Oh, you're here. Very strange, very strange, very strange. Uh, but no matter what. Uh, all right, so Ponselli. Some improvements, actually, overall, in the last three months. Uh, Charles Jordan Molden getting some better, but it's not our players, so it doesn't really matter. Jordan showing some improvements, so that's pretty nice. And Pius as well. And so is Gustavo Miller showing a little bit as well. And Baxter. And Gray showing some real improvement as well. Yeah. That's nice. Akinola, not really. But we're not really thinking that he will. Neither are we with Gosling. Rosan, how have you developed? You have developed a little bit, even though you're been in the reserve, so that's pretty nice. Johnson, you're losing stats all the places. And that's obviously not good. And so is the Heavenland and Merch. 
three players that we really don't want to see that. But, uh, oh well, can't do that much about it, I think at least. If, if there were a way to do it, uh, I would love to hear it if you have suggestions. Uh, so some pre-match tactical advice we don't want to get stuck in. We can define that with more width and work ball into the box. That's fine. And Cambridge are favorites for upcoming match. Uh, not as much as uh, yes, uh, the last team we met, actually. We're slight, slightly less underdogs here. But still, uh, we are not the favorites for the match. And uh, yeah, a bit of a hectic playing schedule here, as always after the, well, around just after Christmas, basically. And abilities on a lot of players we don't know anymore, and the contracts to expire. So Ponticelli, obviously, uh, we are going to sell him, and Alloy, Charles, Jordan, Gray, these players I guess we sort of want to prolong uh, as backup players. Uh, but uh, we can we can wait a little bit on all of them, really, to be honest. And we have a lot of stuff as well that uh, are having contracts that is expiring here, I see. And uh, just Baxter here for some reason. It feels like Bennett would be a better choice here, for example, to, to sign. Uh, yeah, no one there really that uh, is impressive or that we really need to take into concerns regarding contracts, so to say. And we have a lot of tired players here, so obviously we need to do something. So, Mitchell, uh, you are rather merch, you're going to play totally on the wrong side and everything, but uh, it's. Uh, Shows that we have, and O'Connor, you're going to get to uh, have a chance here, and then we are playing Shalms and De Havilland, I guess. Oh, Miller, you're up to four and a half stars. That's pretty darn epic current ability. It's very well suited to Sky Bet League One. Yeah, this is. This is a superb signing that we have done from Tottenham. Uh, unfortunately, he has a uh, far too short of a contract to be really great for us, but uh, we'll see what we'll be able to do with that. Uh, Baxter, you're of course needing some rest as well. Uh, so we're playing the Havland. Gray, you can stay, I guess, Gosling and Pius. You two can stay as well. Uh, Ponticelli is in instead of Alloy on the bench. Uh, Wilson could play, but we'll let Gray play. And yeah, Ogunsiri, of course, is uh, going to play as soon as he's uh, back from his injury. But I think he still have a couple of weeks left of injuries, actually, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll kick off and play straight off here. And again, I should have looked at the tactics, but that's not really how I'm playing the game. I, I trust my uh, my assistants and everything like that. So we're we're uh, just moving forward here, commenting each match and hoping for the best, really. So I understand that uh, that might not be your cup of tea, but uh, well, I'm playing. But uh, I would love to hear suggestions uh, on how I should do it and also how you're playing the game yourself. So we had one chance there in the hi first highlight. I don't know if it were a real chance, uh, so to say, but here is a highlight from the first half and it's been a goal, but it's been disallowed due to offside here on a Gosling. You know, well, I guess it sort of were. And yeah, the Havilland, I sort of guess, touched, touched it there. And another goal for Bassett here in the 16th minute. Well, the first one was disallowed, of course, but uh, Gustavo doing his first goal for the 
seized on uh, on a well struck free kick there, and uh, well, the goalkeeper really wrongly placed in the goal there for Cambridge, I would say. And uh, next highlight here again in the 18th minute mark, uh, Bassetti work in control of the ball, but now to Cambridge, pinning up it up here on the left hand side, passing it towards the middle, uh, just outside the penalty area now, and a uh, tackle there by Bassetti and a chance for a counter attack, but we didn't really get to the ball. But we have a second chance here, uh, but unfortunately, long ball is to Cambridge again. Uh, a lot of ping pong play now, but uh, Bassetti in control of the ball now, finally here on the right hand corner. O'Connor crosses it, but it's uh, getting stuck on Cambridge players, and it's Cambridge that is getting a one on one versus the keeper, but shoot way over the top of the bar there in the end. So, a lot of highlights here in this match, it seems. To be uh, just at the moment at least uh, very tightly knit together because we have another highlight going on here in the 21st minute O'Connor with the ball here again drawing the ball upwards on his right hand side uh, but fails to cross it there so the ball to Cambridge Cambridge can come in here with a counter-attack and gets through here one-on-one -on -one versus the keeper and it's a goal for Cambridge unfortunately uh, which means it's all equalized here now in the 21st minute and yeah a little bit of bad markings there I guess of course um, yeah we're wrong not really that great, but um, I'm too sure what more we could do, so to say. Uh, we could make a win. We really need a win. Uh, next time here in the 35th minute, a uh, corner for Bassetti. Unfortunately cleared by Cambridge. And do we have the ball back? Yeah, we do. On the second passing, so to say. Uh, O'Connor with the ball passing to Charles back to O'Connor here on the right hand side, uh, finding it to Charles, back to O'Connor, to Charles, to Devlin, to O'Connor, and it's a goal for Bad City here in the 36th minute. And uh, talk about tightly tight passing there all through the penalty area. That were really tight. That pass to O'Connor was not great though, but those passes were pretty darn epic to be honest and uh, O'Connor also his first goal for the season there so two two players that doing their first goal of the season here which is really great and the uh, last highlight of the first half I would say here in the 46th minute Cambridge coming up with the ball and shooting a power shot straight at the top bar but uh, we managed to clear it there so really good and uh, not so good is that O'Connor have a light injury here I see so we need to uh, change him off but uh, the scoreline after one half is 2-1 two, two, and overall looking uh, very even and overall I would say that we played really good actually and we'll start the second half and just press and uh, make some directly because I sort of want to see the players, so to say, uh, which where they are playing and, ever, and everything. Uh, so we'll move Gray over to the right hand side and putting Kelly here on the left hand side. Uh, as the first sub that we'll do and then we'll do our usual two subs or so I guess at around the 60 minute mark. And uh, what is happening now? Can we get anything happening? Well, a long sequence here with no real highlights. Cambridge uh, playing. I'm just waiting for this to get away, really, so to say. It's usually the case in the, on the kickoff kickoffs so to say but it's a goal for that city here in the 46 minute there a superb strike from Charles from pretty much nowhere well not nowhere but uh, it really didn't look that that dangerous and uh, really clear for 
for the keeper and everything. And uh, yeah, it feels like that weren't a superb strike or superb shot or anything. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll continue with the subs. Yeah, but finally things are coming our way, and finally maybe we can get a win here and uh, start our second wave of wins. That would be superb. Uh, another highlight going on at the moment here in the 54th minute. Bath City with the ball, but losing it to Cambridge here. So a chance for Cambridge to come here on a counter-attack. Uh, driving up here on the right-hand side, but no counter-attack as such. But uh, a free chance there and just saved on the line there pretty much by Molden. And another injury now on Akinola, so I guess we are switching in Jordan. And uh, let's do our last sub here as well, I guess. Uh, so we're putting in, who are we putting in though? Is it Mitchell? Uh, I guess it's Mitchell that we are going to put in uh, instead of the Havilland. All right, uh, we'll continue and hope that we don't get any more injuries or things like that because then we'll have to pull a man off from the field, but that can be all right as well, I guess. We haven't really lost or draw that many, but as you see, we had 10 matches without uh, a win. Before that, we were pretty much undefeated or hadn't dropped a point 14 matches in or something like that so it's pretty crazy and here we have uh, the highlight for the final whistle i would guess uh, sort of looks like a decent chance here could be uh, coming for bad city but i don't think we'll uh, really end up to anything greater with a superb slot actually but not uh, shooting or doing anything so uh, the final whistle should be here any second and there we have it so the final scoreline for Bassett versus Cambridge is 3-2-1 shots 13 to 14 shots on target 6 to 6 and possession 60 to 40 percent so uh, well deserved winner and a good result and uh, the lads playing really well and uh, yeah, finally, 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 we get to have a decent match in this game. It's been so long since we had that. Still third in the league and still one point clear of the playoff zone. Uh, and three points up to the league leaders. And O'Connor to Fisio. And anything more here? Price Gustav's performance? Sure. No problem at all. And uh, watching Gustavo, yeah, we are not going to let go of Gustavo. You have a pretty long contract, yeah, you have three years. So, uh, yeah, we'll pick you up before everything, I guess. Uh, overdue win, yeah. Eight matches without a win which is horrible, uh, just a slight loss here against Notko and then Billy Kay. These are really strong, strong opponents in Northampton as well, I guess. So it hasn't been that bad and it haven't been that many losses as such, other than Luton, of course. But uh, yeah, we took a win. We'll hope that we can run with it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again here in the next episode. So see you then. Bye-bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left, you will see the next video in this series. And on the right, our latest upload to the channel. And with that said thank you again for watching